final round of the 2014 Sunbelt Conference Men's Golf Championship came down to the final group on the final hole of the day. A back and forth developed between Georgia State, UT Arlington, and South Alabama. South Alabama started the day in third place and made a huge push from eight strokes back to almost force a playoff. UT Arlington also just missed out on a playoff opportunity as well, falling two strokes back. UL Lafayette was impressive on the final day. They shot seven under to finish fourth, and Texas State came in fifth place after ending the first round in last place. The day, though, belonged to Georgia State University. I still, my heart has not slowed down. Um, good thing I have low blood pressure, because if I didn't, it would be through the roof. They just want to do it where they get behind and then come back at the end. They've done that. This is our third straight tournament where they were behind and the last few holes they somehow catch up and they play beautifully the last few holes. It feels great for Tyler. He, you know, this is his senior year. The others are underclassmen. So four of my five players are coming back and we have, a, I think, a pretty good recruiting class. So we're, we're going to be around for a while. But I wanted for Tyler, who's worked so hard, who came as a walk-on, had nobody recruited him, and to have played every single tournament in his career here. I, I just wanted us to win one for him. That was great. It, it really, and and he fought us. Yes, it fought yesterday, and and birdied three out of the last four to keep us, you know, right there at the top. And so it was just nice for him. Yeah, really good. I mean, second place the last two years. We pretty much had, I think, three or four of the same guys for both of those second places. So. We were um, we were looking for the ring this time. We were going on looking for the, what we called the three peat. So I mean, it was good. It's really good. On the individual side, Texas State Stuart Smallwood shook off a rusty start and finished at even par to beat eight under on the tournament. He had back-to-back -back 68s, and that proved too much for anyone to catch him on the final day of play. Oh, absolutely, it does. You know, it's been like I said earlier, it's been a kind of a bad year for me, and it's nothing better to do than to go out well and to go out with a win. I couldn't ask for any better event. Sunbelt's a great conference and a lot of good players in this conference and I enjoyed I enjoyed competing with them and I enjoyed winning winning the Sunbelt. It was a lot of fun.